Good morning everybody, Northwest Precision here. Uh, I haven't done a video in a while, but I wanted to do a video on this inline fabrication stuff that I got, which I thought was really cool. Um, gotten a few other things too, but I haven't had a chance to do those videos either. But this stuff right here is like kinda a game changer, in my opinion, for this reloading setup that I do. Um, so first off, I got the Ergo roller handle here, and it's got a rolling handle, whereas, you know, the original is just a ball. Um, so it's a lot more comfortable to run this for a long time if you're doing a lot of brass as opposed to this guy here. Um, so I got the handle from them. Then this here is a new, let's see if you can see that a new primer catch system and it's got it's 3d printed so i mean it's 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 nice but it's not like super crazy sturdy you just have to be a little bit careful is what i've found um had to do a little fitting like it said in the in the instructions for this piece here so the ram wouldn't be rubbing against it and all that and then if you look here there's this hose that goes down i'm going to end up eventually getting a two liter bottle to put it into um but the primers go down this tube and they just collect in there instead of all over your press and the little janky tray that you get and stuff. So you could actually run like a bigger catch if you want and will allow you to run longer without dumping what you got. Um, so also on this setup, we got the bin set up too with the ejector system on the, the cases. So... It's got a spring steel piece here that pushes the cases out, a ramp that makes the cases flow down into the bins, and then there's a bracket that goes on the reloading press itself here on the bench that sandwiches between your bench and your reloading press. And that's what the bins here hang off of. And it's it's a nice sturdy piece. I mean, it's, it's good steel, it's powder coated. The handle here is powder coated. Um, I think you can get it painted to save a little bit of money, but I figure powder coat lasts the longest. Um, so that's why I went with it. Um, so I'm going to just show you guys. This is 29 cases of like 6x47 Lapua that I've got laying around. It's like my my stuff that I keep just to dink around with and uh, make sure my temperature settings are right on my annealer and stuff like that. But um, I'm going to size 29 cases and show you exactly how this ejector system works with the primer catch and all that stuff. So... Um, it's a lot faster than it was before for me, so that's what I really like about it, is I only have to handle this brass once. I don't have to, you know, grab a piece of brass, put it in, then pull it out, then throw it in a bin. All I have to do is grab it, put it in, and run the press, and that's it. So let's run through these 29 cases so you can see how fast it is. And, uh, you know, you can decide for yourself if it, if it changes it enough for you like I think it did for me. So let's go through it real quick, and we'll, we'll kind of show you here so you gotta lift up the press just a little bit to get your piece of brass in there um so you can get past the ejector but as soon as you get to that point it's basically pushing down pulling up and it blows out so we'll run through these real quick And with that case sticking with the lube there, um, one of the instructions said that if you spray just a little bit of uh, silicone lube on there, it will automatically like discharge down the ramp and not stick like that one is there. So um, I haven't tried that yet. Like I said, this is actually, believe it or not, this is the first brass that I've ran through here at all. So. I mean, I don't know, you guys can see the benefit of it probably already, even with those cases kind of sticking there, which, like I said, I can spray some stuff on there later and it should slide down because I've just played with it a little bit to get it all set up and I actually had just raw cases with no lube on them sliding right down that. I mean, they just went right down into the bins. So, and then 
the primer catch is catching all those primers going down right now. I don't know if you guys can even see those kind of floating down in there when they come out. And then I'm just having a hard time grabbing the cases while I'm trying to do all this. Um, this other bin that's next to these where the cases are going in or where I kind of plan on putting my cases that um, are lubed and ready to go. So that's it. That was 29 cases. So I don't know how long that took, but it definitely seemed like it took a lot, lot, lot less time than normal for me. Um, let me show you how this stuff attaches and then I'll just like show you some 223 brass, just kind of like not ran through the die or anything, but um, just how it's supposed to go down the ramp if, if you have the ramp lubricated with a little bit of silicone spray like it says in the little instruction deal. Um, I'm not even going to put dyes in here or anything. So let's uh, clean this stuff up just a tiny bit. And we'll take this bin out of here. We'll put this bin over here. Drop the shelf plate holders here. Change it out. And then basically, now if we were to just screw another die in there, we'd be ready to load a different caliber. Um, so yeah, we'll just uh, show you with a few of these 223 pieces that I've got. Um, I just bought a bunch of 223 for my trainer. Um, so yeah, hopefully you'll see what it's supposed to do. Like it works with 223 also, so you're running up your press like normal, and that's what it does. Right there, every time if I can get the cases right. So yeah, I think you guys get the idea. Um, just wanted to show you that it also works with a smaller caliber like a 223, um, as well as the bigger pistol calibers too. I've seen videos on the pistol caliber um, ones and stuff like that. So it works with both. I know there's a lot of guys running 223 trainers out there reloading a lot. Um, if you don't have a progressive, this seems like kind of a step in that direction that's really cheap, I think. If I remember right, <clears throat> excuse me, I got the two bins with these also. It's another piece that um, you can order with it, which I recommend because it increases the capacity of these bins for you. Um, it's just a little plate that goes in there and seals up that, that little hole that's in there. Um, so I think with the two plates added, the ejector kit that comes with this bracket, the spring steel, the ramp, um, and two of these bins and this plate here, then this guy here with the hose and the ergo handle, I think it was somewhere around 156 or $157. And if I remember right, all their prices on there include shipping. So that's kind of nice. And it was fast. I think I ordered this on Wednesday and I got it Saturday. So <laughs> I was actually surprised it got here that quick. Um, but anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you this. I posted a picture of what we had going on um, that came in the mail. And I was super excited to get this all set up and running and everything. And now that i got it kind of set up and just been playing with it, um, I just need to figure out to do some silicone spray or something on this ramp like the deal said. I think I have some down in the garage. Um, I'll do that and see what happens with the cases when they're coming down. Um, but they should just kind of slide down like these 223 cases did um, with that spray on there. And then, you know, you can run through cases so fast compared to normal or compared to what I did before, rather. Um, so, yeah, just a quick thing for you guys. It's not a lot of money to get set up on this. And um, really, I feel like it was worth the money. This handle is amazing. It makes things just feel a lot better. Um, also, you get a little more leverage with this one as well and it kind of brings the handle kind of a little further up than it did before because I think the other one was more down here. So this one, it, it just changes everything. So just a quick video for you guys. Um, have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments box and you know I'll answer them to the best of my ability. But um, if you guys are interested, uh, it's these guys right here. So give them a look. Their products are pretty nice. So, yeah, you guys have a great day and have fun out there.